in the set you get one the flower forming stand, two the petal cutter vena, and three the little impression tool. The first thing we're going to make is the little cap which fits on the top of the stand like that. We have to make that out of sugar paste and notice there will be a cocktail stick running through it. First of all, with a piece of sugar paste, make it into a, a pea about that size, quite a large pea. We then pick it up and I roll it in my fingers like that. And what I'm trying to do is to make the thing rather like a bullet where it's got a flat end and a slightly pointed at the other end. Something like that. Then you want to get a tool. Ideally this is the best tool for it, but you can use a pencil or a crayon or something which has been sharpened to a reasonable point. And then you can put it in there and push it inside like that. What I'm doing now is making it very thin at the edge there. You see my finger here is pushing down to try to make that thin. Then I go away a little bit and we just finish it off like that. Then I put it there and we pick up a cocktail stick and we have to go through it with a cocktail stick. To do that I go right inside there like that, twist the cocktail stick while pushing it gently in and then it comes out the other end. Now I can go around and make this little bell, it's a sort of bell cap, slightly smaller. I'm doing that so that when I Take the stand, we put it there, I can pop it on like that. Now notice what I'm doing now, I'm trying to rotate it a little bit like that to make the hole bigger than the cocktail stick. It must slide in and out very easily. If it doesn't do that, when you finish the whole thing, you won't be able to take the flower off the stand. So we put it on there like that, push the cocktail stick into the hole and down there onto that and then just ease it down all round to pretty well equal the size of the stand underneath. So there it is. Now before we do anything else, we have to cut the stand or break it off about there. So I take it off, break the cocktail stick, and then we put it back on again, and that makes it a lot safer. Just check that it can move up and down easily, and it makes it right. But be careful about having a cocktail stick with a point sticking up inside a thing like this, because if you press your hand on it, it really will go straight into your hand. Now it is a bit safer. It's quite important to make several of these caps. You need one for every flower that you're going to make and you must dry them for about 24 hours so that they are really quite hard. That is very important. You also must move freely on the cocktail stick before you start. If they don't do that, use another one. Put that on one side and we'll now make a petal. Powder the board slightly like that. Roll out a piece of paste. Roll it out until you begin to see the board just begin to grey, to be green well through the paste. That should be thin enough. Just want to powder the board again slightly. Don't use too much powder on boards if you avoid it. This is the cutter vena. You pop it on there like that make sure that it is on the paste all round and I press firmly, twist while pressing and then cut, that's the cutting there. Off comes all the rest, you put this, this away. I actually use a little film box like that to put it in so it keeps the most, at least most of the air away. Turn it over like that and you'll see the thing in the vena, in the cutter vena. Now we press it down in order to get the impression. With this set we also do a double impression mode, so here's the double impression, you can put that on there like that and just squeeze it in gently, just at the bottom part, not further up, just the bottom part. That'll do that. 
we now have to take it out and to take it out the best way is to use a bit of paste okay take a little bit out of the box and I'm going to wet my finger on a sponge so wet the finger on a sponge like that wrap it on my hand like that and put the little bit of paste on there I now wet my finger again and it becomes very tacky. You want a dry sort of tack. So that when you get onto this and put it on like that and take it out like that. If it's at all difficult to get out, remember to powder the mould before you start if you want to. That makes it a bit easier to take it out. We're now going to frill the petal, so just a little bit of powder on the board. I always work right off the back of the board because then I can get my hands low. And just a little frill like that. Don't do too much frilling for this particular flower, just a bit. Occasionally it's not too bad to have a bit sort of kicking up like that. About two petals out of the whole five, that'll be enough for that because it's a fairly flat flower. We're now going to place the first petal. To do that, get some egg white on a brush and I just brush it there against that. It's quite important to use a brush because you get the egg whites in the right place a lot easier. And then we take the, the petal that we just made and I put it on there like that. I tend to press it at the top a bit and now I'm going to get a cocktail stick and just ease it in there to flatten it down a bit like that. It blends it in to the cap and now I'm trying to make it conform to the general shape of the stand. Do this fairly gently at first with fingers on both sides as it were and then it will slowly go down. The next thing is to begin to just roll this edge down a bit with a ball tool. You can use a very small ball tool if you want a lot more squeeze, but the big one is okay at this stage. Like that. We're now going to put on the second petal. To do that, a bit of egg white. I egg white the cap there for the second petal and then down the side from about here I gently put on a bit of egg white on the side of the on what's called the top side of the petal just about the last eighth of an inch try not to go on the rubber stand too much because egg white is sticky stuff so just like that there and then <clears throat> Pick up the next petal, rotate it slightly, and stick it up there first. Then with a cocktail stick or something like that, I just roll that over the top of that there like that to blend it in a bit. And now we push it back onto the pet other petal. I'm checking to see just where it is. I don't want it to be too far across that petal, just there will do. <clears throat> and with this cocktail stick I'm now just beginning to nudge it down into position like that. You can almost make the edge disappear if you get it right. And then I'm just easing it all forward and bending it round to make the tube shape. Encourage it to become a tube, like that. <clears throat> this particular petal has got a little kick here, like that. That's quite good, you don't mind that too much. But do remember that the petal, eventually, is quite a flat petal. With just a few little kicks. Now we go around again. And I'll just put on another petal, because it's quite important that you see how this is done. It's the same thing really. 
bit of egg white there, a little bit down the edge. You don't want to put too much on, at the same time not too little, but as it were, it is important to get it's just enough to stick but not enough to run all over the place. <clears throat> then get the petal and again I stick it up the top first like that. I'm just looking at the bottom here to see where the edge is. I'm trying to show you that a little easier where that bottom edge is to put it on. And I'm pulling it down now because I want to fit the other one as well. Like that. You can just see the edge there. I'm pushing it round particularly look at this part just here, where you can just see the two edges. Try and squeeze it down there and run it up the, to the top. Then we go on and squeeze that in. A little bit more pressure there. At the top here it might sometimes just open a little bit but you can easily nudge it in with just pushing with a bit of a ball tool like that. Then we try to make the tube shape again. Let's keep going around so we're tubing it up like that to make it a nice sharp tube. On the back of the petal you'll see this rather strong forked or very sharp looking piece. That is meant to be there. It is, on, it is always left absolutely white when you're painting it. Uh, it's, it's, what it is, it's a central petal support. It supports the petal when they come out. And if you ever see this happening on a real flower, you'll see why it needs that. It does it where it's like a little tent pole going out and it holds the rest in position. We've now reached the last petal. And before we put this one on, we have, here it is, uh, I want to make sure the gap at the bottom is suitable to be able to stick it on. You can, at this stage, open it up a little bit or close it just a little bit, as you can see. But where it is now, it's just about right. You will notice on the actual stand, there are some little sort of seam marks there. There's another one further around there. And you can use those as a guide, if you like, when you first start off, as to where to put the first one, the second one, and so on. But that's about right as it is now. All I'm going to do now is to just press it in there, and get ready to put on the final petal. So away we go with the egg white at the top there, down this side now, and of course with this one we also have to go back to the first petal where we put some egg white down the side of that first petal as well, in there like that. Once that's done we then Hang it from the top first of all. Try and central centre it over the two petals. It's a little bit difficult and sometimes you need a thing like a little cocktail stick or something to just move it about a bit. What I'm trying to do is to find the best position for it. It's about there. So in we go. Sometimes it drops down a little bit. Don't worry about that too much. It's really the bottom parts there, which I'm trying to fix that one now then this one here, and just fix that. Then they will stop moving about too much while we put that up there like that, and then roll it over the top. So there it is. All the way around. Now the best thing to do now is to leave it, to let everything set. But it shouldn't take too long, and after a, a couple of hours or so, you should be able to take it all off. See, I can just move it even now. But it's not a good idea to take it off too quickly. So, we'll leave it as it is. We did mention before that um, you can introduce a little bit of movement into them by lifting up some of the petals and then popping a bit of tissue underneath it. Don't overdo this because the flowers are fairly flat. But a little bit of a movement is nice. 
but you only want a little bit here and there. No two morning glories are exactly the same. Some are a little bit more moving, move a little bit more than the others do. But generally speaking, it's a fairly flat disc. Morning Glory has very few anthers, just about three like that. And to, to make them, you tape the three little anthers to a stronger wire like that. And then wrap it round with a little bit of sugar paste like that. And make sure that the bottom, it has a sort of little carroty sort of finish. We are then going to fix it into the main flower. So here's the flower. We take the cocktail stick out. Or take the flower off the cocktail stick if you wish. And there it is. And the way I think would be the best way for you to do it would be to stick some stick paste around the bottom of the anther there, of the anther set, and get the wire, put it right in the middle there, then push it, pull it down, and it will disappear and tie right into the little cap that we made first of all. You can then go to the other side, and if you wish, just fill it in here, with a little bit more stick paste to make sure of it. It's very important when you stick flowers to wire that they stick very firmly. Because when you come to putting them on a cake or something like that, you don't want them falling off the wires. Some people prefer to use the flower as a white flower, rather like a convolvulus, and so that would then be the way it would look. But, of course, you can paint them blue like that, which is the actual colour of the Morning Glories. And at the back of them, the sepals can be put on. These are paste sepals stuck on. You can paint them on um, because they are very small, right at the very end of the tube. 